Welcome to Rosh Media. My name is Rosh, and in this video, we're answering the question, what is the difference between users, sessions, and engaged sessions? So what we need to do first is go down to acquisition and then traffic acquisition, and we'll find those statistics displayed in the next card down. So as you can see, we have users, sessions, and engaged sessions. What does that mean? Well, sessions are the number of times people came to a web page. Users are the number of people or visitors that came to the web page. So you could have one user come to your site or to your page twice or maybe three times. So it would be one user and three sessions. However, what are engaged sessions? This is rather new in Google Analytics 4. What this means is that the users during each of the sessions were engaged on your page for at least 10 seconds. It can also mean that that user converted on that page, which may have taken less than 10 seconds, or that visitor has been to at least two pages on your website. Here under traffic acquisition, there's additional information that you might be interested in, such as the average engagement time. How long did each visitor stay on your website per session? And the percentage of engaged sessions versus non-engaged sessions. And next, events per session. We'll talk about events in future videos. Your engagement rate, which is the number of engaged sessions, or engaged sessions divided by the number of sessions. You also have an event count, again, something we'll talk about more in the future, the number of conversions, and if you are an e-commerce site, your total revenue.